Hey guys, it's The Real China Sister. I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. As you guys know, it is officially cupping season. I'm sure you can feel it in the air outside. It's not as hot as it used to be. Labor Day weekend just happened, which marks the end of summer. So it's officially cupping season. Like people are gonna start trying to get boyfriends, girlfriends, you know, getting in relationships with people and getting to know people. Now, I personally don't like the term um, cupping season. I really think it's like so high school and like I don't understand why people are still saying it like we grown as hell like me you better cuff me no matter what season it is whether it's spring winter summer fall like you I'm cuffable like the season really shouldn't matter but since that's what the people are talking about let's get into it on this video I'm gonna be giving the ladies 10 tips during cuffing season um I'm doing this video because you know dating and cuffing season all like it's a freaking battlefield man like this shit is no joke that's why they call it cuffing season like it's really a season there's a draft there's game one game two game three the finals like it's a whole thing so I'm about to give the ladies some of my cuffing season tips that I think can be helpful to them The first tip I'm going to give the ladies for cupping season is to be upfront and honest about what you want. You know, it's the same thing I tell the guys over and over again in the videos that I make about being honest. You know, we have to be honest too. Like if you're talking to a guy, you just met him and he asks you, you know, what are you looking for? Or do you want a boyfriend? Do you want to be in a relationship? Or are you not looking to be in a relationship? Like if you're looking for a boyfriend, if you're saying like, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to be in a relationship eventually with someone or if say, oh, hey, you know, I'm just dating a bunch of people right now and seeing what's out there and hopefully it turns into something like be honest about what you want there's nothing wrong with being honest you know we don't have to play games and be like oh I'm not really sure like we know what we want there should be no problem with us saying what we want because these niggas have no problem asking for ass so if they can sit there asking for ass, then we can say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. The second tip I'm going to give the ladies for cuffing season is to date everybody. I'm not telling you to date a guy and his friends and all of that. That's not what I'm saying. I believe that is super messy. Again, women, you could do whatever you want, but I think that's messy as hell. Don't be dating a guy and all his friends like that's not cute or one of his friends like it's not cute. What I mean by date everybody these men are out here they're talking to mad females they're talking to mad women talk texting like 20 25 women at a time do not place your eggs all in one basket ladies date everybody get to know everybody you know even if you have the guy that you like and he's telling you oh you know i'm only talking to you niggas love to say that and i don't care how nice you think a guy is he's not only talking to you and i just wouldn't believe that you know and even if you're like me you know you know when i was dating around and stuff it was very hard for me to get into the groove of talking to or texting with multiple guys because I'm just not like that I'm a relationship girl I'm a one-on-one -on -one type girl but ladies you know this is a vicious world of dating these men are out here talking to a bunch of girls you don't want to be sitting there talking to one guy every day then all of a sudden you're not hearing from him or all of a sudden he hits you with you know me and you can't talk no more because you know I got a girlfriend now like you don't want to be in that situation so ladies try to date and get to know multiple people you know when you're single you can do that there's absolutely nothing wrong with dating a bunch of people I didn't say sleep with them now but it's nothing wrong with dating and talking to multiple men which brings me to my third tip for the ladies during cuffing season. Stay out of these niggas houses. Ain't shit for you there, sis. You know, if you're dating and you're genuinely trying to be in a relationship and you're genuinely trying to get to know a guy, I would just stay out of his house. Like, to each his own. Do whatever you want. But to me, nothing good ever really becomes of that. Men, a lot of the times, cannot handle being in a house or in a private setting with a beautiful woman, you know, or any woman, period, you know, um, I would just keep him outside, you know, y'all go, I'm not saying y'all gotta spend money every time y'all go out, go for a walk in the park, you know, go for a walk down the street, I don't care what y'all do, but try to stay out of his house, there's no reason for you to be there, you know, then you'll have the guys are like, oh, I can cook you dinner, like, sis, don't fall for that, those are the men that have their own place, and oh, they wanna quote-unquote cook for you, that's quote-unquote almost for he wants to get in your panties, like, just keep him outside when you're first getting to know him, on the first couple of rounds, sis, stay outside. Oh, the only time you should really be in his house is, you know, if y'all have been talking to each other for a while or dating for a while and you decided that's something you want to do. Or if this is the one guy out of the bunch of guys that you're talking to, you know how sometimes ladies, you have that one guy that you're sleeping with out of the whole bunch of guys that you just talked to. 
if that's your situation, then fine. But when you're really trying to get to know somebody or you're really trying to date somebody, I would stay out of his house. My fourth tip for the ladies during cuffing season is to set boundaries and stand firmly on whatever it is that you believe in. You know, this will let him know that you're not to be played with and it will also allow him to gain some respect for you. You know, even though you're talking to someone or getting to know somebody, that doesn't mean that he is able to cross certain boundaries or ask certain questions that he has no business um, asking. For example, we're grown 25 and up. Um, these men should not be, I don't think even younger than 25. Ladies, you don't got to tell a man what your body count is. That's an immature, to me, that's an immature question. Oh, I've noticed men have a habit of asking that question to women. Oh, what's your body count or how many men you've been with? Ladies, that's an inappropriate question. If he asks you that, tell him it's none of his business. It's none of his business how many men you've slept with, especially if he's not a guy that's your boyfriend. Like, he shouldn't be asking questions like that. Now, if he was asking questions like, oh, when's the last time you went to the doctor? When's the last time you got checked? Because y'all are about to engage, I understand that. But the first week of y'all having regular conversation and getting to know each other one-on-one, -on -one, you know, your likes, your dislikes, what you're looking for, your upbringing and all that, body count should not be in the conversation. So that's just an example of something that might make a woman uncomfortable. Ladies, you don't have to answer anything that makes you uncomfortable. You can tell someone, hey, you know, I'm not interested sharing that or that's not a topic we need to speak on. Another example of setting a boundary with these men would be if you guys went out to dinner you know after dinner when he's taking you home he's suggesting oh that you should come over to his place if you're uncomfortable with that and you don't want to go just tell him no don't feel like oh if I tell him no he's not gonna call me tomorrow if you tell him no and he doesn't call you tomorrow then he wasn't for you anyway sis set boundaries and let no we're not ready for that yet let him know straight up um I'm not ready for that with you or I don't think that's the right thing to do right now set boundaries and if he don't call you tomorrow on to the next my fifth tip for the ladies during cupping season and this is something that I actually learned like as I got older it's something that my mother constantly told me about and I wasn't really hearing her about it but once I started you know adding it to my dating routine then you know things started working out a whole lot better for me you know ladies you have to have a set time where you stop answering text messages phone calls and facetimes like after a certain time you have to be unreachable like for example if you want to stop answering around 10 p.m 10 30 um you shouldn't be talking to nobody that you're just getting to know after 11 like that's booty call hours i get like sometimes you know when you're on the phone and you get so lost in conversation but if that's not really your situation and he's just texting you at random like at 11 30 talking about you up or 12 30 talking about oh you up can I call you you shouldn't be answering him you know and by you doing this this also creates mystery on your end for him like he's gonna be wondering what you're up to you know he might even start to miss you and the next day when he asks you oh why you didn't answer me just be like oh you know I was busy you know don't always tell him oh I was asleep because then that's nothing for him to worry about he ain't gonna worry about a bitch that's sleep no you can't always be just so available all the time no matter how much you want to talk to him because trust me there's been times where it's like damn I really want to answer dude but you know you got to set them boundaries so if you're trying to lock him down. My sixth tip for the ladies during cuffing season is, you know, who you're dating, who you're seeing, you know, it's really nobody's business. You know, try to maintain a certain level of privacy within your dating or talking to stage. Um, This is just a tip for the ladies. You know, men typically, usually grown men, real men, don't like a whole bunch of messiness. They don't like a whole bunch of girly girl gossip bullshit all the time that shit is annoying to them and men will get away from you in two seconds if you want some extra shit all the time you wear me out but she always forgive me no Juan. not this time no don't leave me you know basically sis everybody don't gotta know your business everybody don't need to know who you talking to or who you dealing with me when i'm talking to someone or dating someone whatever the case may be when i'm at least in the talking stage i'm very much on hush you know you can't tell, you just can't tell your business to everybody. You know, girls sometimes can be very messy or you get the girls that would be like, oh yeah, because I used to talk to him and the nigga like said hi to her at a party like one time six years ago. Like, you just don't want everybody all up in your situation. If you really want your situation to work with a guy, you know, unless one of your girlfriends is telling you they used to really talk to somebody that 
like they used to have a whole situation with then that's the situation and it's like okay you need to cut dude off but don't be letting everybody in every aspect of y'all business because it will not turn out good my seventh tip for the ladies you know during the talking phase you know when you're one month in a month and a half in to talking to a guy you know you will start to catch a little bit of feelings that this is someone that you've been consistent with and someone that you've been talking to a lot seeing a lot whatever the case may be remember to always keep your cool ladies it is very important that we maintain a certain level of coolness you know these men go sometimes and they do whatever and they don't care and they don't think about our feelings and shit happens but at the end of the day that wasn't really your nigga leave him where he's at and go about your business i'd rather be your b-i-t-c-h Everything does not require a drama scene. Everything does not require you cursing him out, you going on social media and doing all this extra shit. You know, when he be on some bullshit, just be like, all right, I see you. Now I'm gonna chuck you a deuce and just go about my business. So my main tip for the ladies here is just to be cool, keep your cool. There's no man out here worth you losing your shit over, especially a nigga that's not your nigga. My eighth tip for the ladies during cupping season, and this tip probably like should have been more so towards the top of my list but i like just thought about it i'm trying to give y'all like some real tips on dating and stuff listen to me right now on this tip and don't listen to what your friends say ladies you gotta be a lady like when you're going on a date you know smell good look nice have your hair done have your nails together you know if you're not a girl that's going to the nail salon every two weeks like me you know at least make sure your nails are clean make sure you're um, toes are together like make sure everything is together your eyebrows are done make sure you are neat also when you guys start hanging out with each other like in the house and y'all start you and the guys start getting to that stage where y'all just hanging out in the house i don't care what your girlfriends told you sis it is not cute to fart it is not cute to burp and it ain't cute to snatch your wig off at that man's house like i'm sorry that's just way too comfortable sis that's not cute like i don't care what your girlfriend told you oh i take my wig off I, listen i will never i would never and i've never worn a wig this is bundles i would never take my bundles out in front of a man and just be sitting there with braids on talking about how you doing like don't nobody want to see that you know allow there to still be some mystery to you sis like there's no reason for you to be snatching your wig off at that man's house like that like he's gonna forever remember that and it's not even like y'all married or anything like i understand if you guys are married and y'all been married for a while and he's sitting there taking your braids out and he's taking your weave out or your wig off whatever i understand marriage but talking stage and boyfriend girlfriend i'm seeing a lot of y'all out here just snatching y'all wigs off it like it's a hat when y'all get to y'all man's house like y'all sitting it on it like it's all good like that's not cute sis no nobody wants to see that so just remember to be a lady and keep it cute my ninth tip for the ladies during cupping season is you know if you've been talking to a guy and i've said this before in another video if you've been talking to a guy for a while and it's been going good and you guys reach three months the three month mark and he's still talking about oh y'all still need to get to know each other better or um he doesn't know what he wants right now sis you should cut him off and move on to somebody else i've said it before you know men are not as complicated as we make them out to be they are actually very straightforward they're not as complicated as us when it comes to decision making and things of that nature and if he's telling you after spending time with you for three months after going on dates with you after texting with you after being on facetime calls with you after being on the phone with you until four in the morning if he's telling you oh i still don't know what i want or oh we still need to get to know each other after three months it's either he's there's still another girl that he likes and he can't make the decision between the both of you or he don't really want nothing and he's just sitting there wasting your time and if it were me i would go about my business because there's too many men out here that want to be in a relationship and know what they want to do with a woman for me to be sitting here pressed about somebody like that my 10th and final tip for the ladies for cupping season is don't go for no bullshit that's my 10th and final tip to the ladies. Don't go for no bullshit with none of these niggas because you want to be in a relationship. Don't be fighting ex-girlfriends. Don't be out here fighting their baby mamas and getting into it with them because the nigga that you fucking with is still fucking with his baby mama on the low and that's why she coming at you like that. Um, Don't be going for no bullshit that they doing on social media, always being extra and being Joe with some bitches and they comment. Don't go for no bullshit because you want to be in a relationship. It is not that deep. 
again there are men out here that will respect you more than whoever it is that you're dealing with right now and he's not doing what you need him to do so that y'all can be in a real relationship it's just it's too many men out here to be dealing with somebody's bullshit um fighting with their ex-girlfriend fighting with their baby mama no, I keep a baby block. I ain't fighting with no random period um, constantly telling them to set boundaries with a whack-ass best friend that wish she was the girlfriend for real. Like, just don't put up with none of that, ladies. It's not worth it. I see way too many women out here dealing with shit that's right in their face just so they can say they go with somebody like it's not that deep but those are my 10 cup and season tips for the ladies i hope that i was of some help to you guys again don't take none of these niggas bullshit because it ain't worth it sis like dead serious make sure you guys like this video share it comment below and tell me you guys opinion don't forget to keep subscribing to my channel guys thank you to everybody that has subscribed so far see you guys soon